Let's take a look at how to convert numbers with hundreds, thousands, and millions. Balance the equation below. Three thousands equals how many hundreds? Okay, well, let's think about this. Three thousand, right, would be this number, three thousand. So if we, we can think of that as three times one thousand. So if we want to turn that into how many hundreds, well, what would I have to multiply by 100 to keep my number equal? Well, I definitely need a 3, right, since it was 3,000. But 100 only has two zeros, and 1,000 has three. So I also need another zero. So I could say 30 times 100, and notice that would give me the same answer. 30 times 100 would also be equal to 3,000. So 3,000s is equal to 30 one hundreds or thirty hundreds. Two thousands is equal to how many hundreds? Well think of this the same way. Two thousands or two times one thousand I need to keep that equal so it's also going to have to equal two thousand but if I want to set that up as how many hundreds well, I would have to multiply by 20 instead of 2 because I need the 2 and I also need one more zero to make it a total of three zeros. So 2,000s is 20 hundredths. Now notice the thousands place is one place value bigger than the hundreds. So we have to multiply by 10 or add a zero to our hundred number to make it equal to the thousands, right? Because each place value is 10 times more than the last. Which equation is correct? 8,000 equals 8,800s, 8, 8,000 equals 1,800s, 8,000 equals 8,800s, or 8,000 equals 800 hundreds. Well, remember, look, the pattern we just did. We said if you were saying 8,000, 8 times 1,000, right, would give you 8,000. So if you want to turn that into hundreds, well, then it would have to be 80 times 100 because we still need those same four zeros on our eight. So this would be 80 hundreds. And again, another way to think about that is if I have my hundreds, if I have 80 hundreds, that's the same, I'm going to abbreviate here, as saying eight thousands because the thousands place is 10 times more than the hundreds place, right? One place value bigger is worth 10 times more. Which equation is correct? Three thousands equals 13 hundreds. Three thousands equal, three thousands equals 30 hundreds. Three thousands is 300 hundreds. Or three thousands is 33 hundreds. Well, remember, it's one place value bigger, so it's 10 times bigger. So we would have to multiply by 10 and say 3,000 is equal to 30 hundreds. Which equation is correct? 4,000 equals 14 hundreds, 4,000 equals 44 hundreds, 4,000 equals 400 hundreds, or 4,000 equals 40 hundreds. Well, following our pattern, it would have to be 40 hundreds Right, one place value bigger is 10 times more. 4,000s equals how many tens? Okay, well again, let's think of this. 4,000, right, that is four in the thousands place, looks like this. And another way to say that is four times 1,000. If I wanna keep that number equal, right, I wanna keep it equal to 4,000, but I want to say how many tens is that? Well, what number would I have to multiply by 10? I would definitely need the four. 10 only has one zero, and I need my answer to have three zeros. So I would have to multiply by 400, right? One, two, three zeros total would give me 4,000. And another way to think about this is each time you go one place value, it's 10 times bigger. So thousands is 10 times bigger than hundreds, 
and hundreds is 10 times bigger than tens. So since I went two place values, right, thousands to hundreds, hundreds to tens, 10 times bigger times 10 times bigger is 100 times bigger. So that would be 400 tens. Which equation is correct? 6,000 equals 66 tens, 6,000 equals 600 tens, 6,000 equals 60 tens, or 6,000 equals 16 tens? Well, think about the pattern from the last problem we did, right? 6,000 would be six times 1,000. If I need to keep this number equal, I still need 6,000, but I wanna think about it as how many tens, well, what would that be times 10? I would still need to multiply by six, and if I need three zeros, and I have one here, I would need two more. So it would be 600 times 10. And again, two place values, tens to hundreds means times 10, and hundreds to thousands is times 10 again, which all together is 100 times bigger. So thousands are 100 times bigger than tens, or there's 600 tens in six thousands.